the Olympus 25mm f 1.2 prime lens, which has an angle of view similar to the human eye, is invaluable for low light photography, especially when a firm support such as a tripod is not permitted. For many years, the renowned chapel at King's College, Cambridge did not allow photography. This restriction has been relaxed, but tripods and flash are not allowed. Therefore, hand-holding the 25mm lens with its ultra-wide aperture comes into its own at King's. It is heavier than most kit lenses, and perhaps better suited on OMD cameras than pen. But don't overlook the simple fact that a heavier camera and lens allows easier hand-holding in any situation. King's College Chapel is one of the splendours of Cambridge, and its architectural gem is the amazing fan vaulted ceiling stretching 289 feet across the entire length of the chapel. It was completed between 1512 and 1515, and the 26 sets of stained glass windows were completed about 30 years later. It is undoubtedly a building of breathtaking proportions. Photography inside the chapel is challenging, and you are well advised to choose a quiet period. I went in early September, after the school holidays, but before term time at the college. I paid two visits, explored the college grounds in between, returning to the chapel an hour before closing, when there were less people and the light had changed. It is amazing how one prime lens focuses the mind, and I was reminded about the saying that the best zoom lens are your legs. It made me search more diligently for that perfect viewpoint. I set the ISO to 200, regarded as the optimum setting for quality. Unless forced to do so, I never set it above 200, and with f1.2 at your command, that is unlikely. Nevertheless, even at 200 ISO, and with strong lighting penetrating from outside, I found that on program the camera used shutter speeds up to one hundredth of a second, but the excellent image stabilizer found in OMD and pen cameras became the divine saviour when longer shutter speeds were necessary. However, because the camera on program was often defaulting to f1.2, an unexpected problem raised its ugly head. Photographers using other digital formats mistakenly assume that Differential focusing is not possible with micro four thirds, but a 25mm lens with an aperture of f1.2 runs coach and horses through this argument. I would also add that the well informed photographer knows how to achieve differential focusing with most standard and telephoto micro four thirds lenses, but a lens having a maximum aperture of f1.2 is in a different league. At first, I was fooled when close to the subject triggering differential focusing when not required. I experienced similar problems with foregrounds. Maintaining sharpness over the entire picture area with my kit lens, the 12-50, was not a problem, even at its widest aperture of f3.5, but depth of field was reduced considerably at f1.2 
with this prime lens having a focal length of 25mm. Never mind, this is where traditional photography succeeds and point and shoot on auto does not. Nevertheless, some photographers may accuse me of laziness by shooting on program, but by switching to aperture priority and selecting a slightly smaller aperture to increase depth of field that can still be handheld, that was the real photographic answer. I adjust my raw images in Adobe Lightroom. Not everything can be done in camera, but raw files worked in Lightroom have that picture-perfect polish. However, in addition to working at 200 ISO, I set the exposure compensation to minus 0.3 EV, sometimes minus 0.7, to contain highlights. Set white balance to cloudy and spot meter with the help of the EVF finder. Much of this can be altered in Lightroom, but I never set anything in camera that cannot be undone later. For me, the final image is never conclusive, and if I ever achieved perfection, then photography would be boring. I stress that all images in this production are handheld with the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II camera plus the 25mm f1.2 lens. No tripod, flash or filters or indeed anything else. There has been some adjustment in Adobe Lightroom and my photographs are taken with that work in mind through experience. I hope Nevertheless, that the superior quality of this lens speaks for itself through my images with vibrant colors and spectacular detail.